Okay, welcome back. Uh, what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to do a slow down version of an antenna mod on this Fly Sky Radio, the FS i6. Uh, did I say that right? Okay, I done a fast one yesterday, so I'm doing an upload again uh, for new people as well, and just to show you that we're going to do we're, we're going to do is different now today. We're uh, have a diversity system in it two antenna, so we're going to use the main. I'm not going to use the main antenna here to have it out this at the top part. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it do it through one of the dials, right? And hopefully, I don't have to re-drill the hole slightly, you know. Uh, so I'm just going to start. I've already taken the screws out of the back just to speed this video up. So I'll just continue as I go along and yap away. So what you have here is an RP SMA uh, connector with an IPEX IPEX connector on the end of it, which goes to the IPX ports that are on inside the radio now, which I'm going to show you. So you just snap this apart. This is for people that know nothing about it just be careful when you're doing this because you have two wires here you've got one going to the trainer port and you've got one going to the battery so you want to you want to disconnect these just to get them out of the way because you'll be moving the radio around a bit and you don't want them snapping off and this should pop out yep and just put it to one side so it's out of your way so what we're going to do here is um i'm going to I don't need these dials and I don't think you will especially if you're going to fly quads probably different if you're going to be flying fixed wing or something like that you know so I'm going to use this one here I was going to use one of the switches one of the two-way switches but I'm not going to bother uh, in fact I'll just continue what I'm doing on me I'm going to take this out this antenna out so just be careful when you're doing this um, because you don't you don't want to pull the tab off the board so if you hold the wire and just get a little small flat head screwdriver and just prise it up real easy and that's it and um, try not to use uh, the pliers okay and if I sound funny that's me changing my voice okay I've done that so what we're going to do is we're going to um, snap this sorry snap this in half and take out the antenna because we're going to put this back because uh, we're going to be left with a gaping hole at the top you can either put it back or else you can fill the top part up with a uh, with a black uh, silicone But in this case, I'm putting it back in, so there's no point in taking it out. So I'm going to use this one here. And this should pop out because I've already, in advance, taken off the screw. Off the nut, and sorry. And I just have to feed it through the other side. And this might take a bit of jittering, but uh, I'm going to get it out as quick as I can we don't want the video to be too long and it should pop out nearly there I just get the pliers in this part that's it I try not to damage the other antenna because we're going to leave the antenna in the handle here it's the way the setup is and uh, it's obviously it works better like that for transmitting so what we're going to do with this is we're going to um, I'm going to break I'm going to break off the tabs here because I'm never going to use it again anyway so what it's up to you if you want to do it you can actually just uh, put some uh, <coughs> electrical tape around it to stop it touching off anything you can leave it back in the case but in this case I'm just going to break them off because uh, 
I don't want it um I don't want it bobbing about so as you can see I'll just get up close I didn't uh, snap the words off the tabs I just left it on, on the board so a small bit of tape will fix that I have it here somewhere and a bit of electric electrical tape around this will do the job and we're going to put it back over this side here just be careful rooting underneath wires that you don't break any wires and we're going to fix it up over here like that out of the way now <coughs> RPSMA female with your eye picks and thing uh, fitting this in I'm probably gonna have to bore it out a small bit so just make sure you have the correct uh, the correct drill bit size this will do Just, just, just me setting up the drill bit into the drill. Now we're just gonna. I see that you go in now. Just a slight bit more. Should do it, do it. Yes. Right, we have that in. It's just a matter of uh, putting the washer back on. Plus the tightening nut. Sorry for the camera moving. Okay, I have that. Now just make sure you don't kink, um, kink the wire, like bend it. Because um, you won't get the same uh, thing out of it again, you know. It just won't work right for you. So we're going to route this down this way. Like so. And come in, come in from this side here. glasses on now just let me just get in close so you can see it right as simple as that don't need a pliers you can push it on with your finger just once you have a central on it and that's it basically, let me just fix these words a bit, that's it. Just like that, and you can always put a bit of a, wherever your, wherever your preference is, you could use some hot glue in there just to hold it as well, just to reinforce it or some uh, mastic or something like that, you know. 
Right, time to put the case back on. Just be careful putting these back on that you actually put them in the, in the correct uh, way. Otherwise you break them. And do the parallels for us. Like so. And when you put it back on, put the handle, clip the handle part in force. Like so. Because I find that actually the casing goes back on much better without the handle part splitting open that you haven't got it connected, you know. And that's it. I'm not going to bother putting the screws back in because I can do that after the video myself. But that's who there. And then just uh, put your antenna on it. And just in case I didn't mention at the very start of the video, this is a 9 dBi antenna. I need to tighten that more. And you can actually fold it out of your way down. <laughs> or else up that way. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is one way of doing it. Or else you can put it to one of the two way switches, whatever way you want it, or else you can put it back up the top of the case and top to yourself. And I mean, but that's the 9 dBi antenna mod for the Fly Sky FSI 6.